Hello there, I'm Patrick from the Dot and Web Academy and what you can see here is a Blazor web app where we are using authentication authorization with identity. And now the question is, when a user is not authenticated, what should this user see? As you can see here, already got a user here, Tony Stark, and uh, this auth required link here leads to a page, the auth page, where the user has to be authenticated to see it. Let's have a look at the code again. Maybe you already know that because this is actually from another of my tutorials, another one of my tutorials, you get the idea, right? You have the authorized attribute on top. So this means we have to be authenticated in any way. And uh, even down here, then I said that this is something that only an administrator is able to see. But this isn't really important. Important is, what about the layouts? Because when I'm actually not logged in, I'm logged out here, and I go back to the auth required page, I see this screen. So again, when I go to home, auth required, I see that screen. And now maybe you want to change the layout of this login screen. This was actually a question in the Dutch Web Academy. Thank you very much for that because this is really interesting. And the solution is really, really simple and you can do this really quick. So actually I could make a YouTube shot out of that. But anyways, maybe you want a tiny bit more explanation for that. So here we have this login page and this comes from, let me have a quick look. We scroll further up here, account components, account pages and then login. But how is this built together? How does this actually work? Well, we have our, uh, no, not the routes, the, well, in the routes we, this is also important, in the routes we see that the default layout is the main layout here, right? And in the main layout now, we see that we have the nav menu there, we have uh, a top bar with the about link, and then this thing, this is the body. And in the body, there, this is the part where we will then see the content of this thing, the login page, the login component, all right? But what, again, if you want to uh, say that the user that is not logged in should actually see nothing of the other stuff. So no sidebar, no about, you name it, right? Well, the easiest way maybe would indeed be to just use another layout. And for that, let's just copy this thing. <clears throat> and this user then, who's coming there uh, on our page or our application, and is not authenticated, maybe we can call this uh, person a guest. And this means that, very important, we say our guest layout inherits from layout component base, all right? And we don't want to see the nav menu, maybe we can even remove this class here. And we only want to actually see this stuff, just the body, all right? So far, so good. But now, let's go back to the login razor. And here now, we use this thing, layout, guest layout. Maybe we have to add this uh, using directive and that's it. <laughs> that's already it. So let's restart the application and no sidebar there. Isn't that great? Again, we can go back, hello world, weather, this is great, register also great, but now to log in, sidebar is gone. And now when we go to auth required, we are redirected. And now let's, let's test that. When we enter Tony at Stark.com and the top secret password, we log in, we are redirected to the auth required page and everything works. I know it <laughs> was a maybe a, a long video, actually a short video, but a long video for this, uh, this implementation. But now you know how this works. I hope if you liked it, please guys hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. It helps doing more of these videos. Maybe you also want to check out the .NET Web Academy for way more in-depth videos, courses, tutorials, you name it, and a beautiful community of like-minded developers. Thank you very much to every single member of the Academy. Now I can only say thank you very much for watching. Maybe you want to check out the other videos here on my channel as well. I hope I see you next time. Take care.